So I'm Jackie Russell and I'm head of the consumer policy team at ORR. Our team is focused on the passenger experience on um, the railways. So part of the job is about deciding what do we expect of train companies, and the other part of the job is monitoring whether train companies are doing what we expect them to do, and if they're not intervening to make sure they're behaving appropriately. So my name is Jen Ablett, I'm a Deputy Director in the Safety Directorate, and my division covers policy, planning and strategy. The Railway Safety Directorate largely consists of operational railway inspectors who go out on the railway interacting with railway organisations ensuring that they are managing their health and safety risks. I lead the division that supports those operational inspectors so we develop our understanding of the risk profile, we lead the business planning to ensure that we are um, prioritising the right activities, we develop all the regulatory tools that our inspectors use and we influence and shape the regulatory framework and issue guidance to the industry and to the public on those risks and what we're doing about them. I'm Matt Westlake, I'm a senior manager in the consumer team. I focus mainly on accessibility, but also responsible for delay compensation. So uh, for my role as the senior manager in consumer policy, we set the requirements for train operating companies mainly about what they should be doing with regards to, so for example, accessibility, what they should be doing on training and what they should be doing in terms of assistance for passengers. My name is Callum Glazier, Executive Manager Competition Policy at the Office of Rail and Road. My role involves ensuring that competition is upheld on the railway network. This involves working with stakeholders throughout the industry to ensure that competition law is being followed and also conducting research into markets to ensure that things are working like they should do. The purpose of this is to ensure that the consumer interest is protected. Hi, my name is Anna Saunders. I work in the consumer policy team as a senior manager. So my current role in the consumer team is leading on aspects to do with passenger rights and ticket terms and conditions and also ensuring that the organisations within the rail industry comply with their obligations in consumer law and that's all around protecting the passengers that use the railway, making sure that they have access to the information they need to um, buy the best ticket for their journey, making sure if things go wrong they know their rights and making sure that the industry adhere to all the requirements and obligations that exist um, to make their, the passenger experience the best it can be. Working in policy, it's about supporting our operational inspectors. It's developing the organisation's view on health and safety risks and what the industry is doing to manage them, offering that guidance and clarity of the regulator's view to both the industry and the public. So in my job, I head up a team of about 10 people. So my role is really to make sure that the team as a whole is really clear on why it's there and what we're trying to achieve. That every individual knows what their job is. So I've been at ORL for 19 years. I started as a team administrator and I've worked my way up through various grades to my current role as a senior manager in the consumer team. Um, ORL is really good in, in terms of opportunities. Um, there's lots of different aspects to our functions which gives a range of different types of role, whether it's casework, policy work, administration, central functions. And there's also lots of opportunities for the comment to central government, to other regulators, which gives you the opportunity to experience different areas of work and also grow your skills. If you're thinking of joining ORR in a policy capacity, I, I warmly encourage you to do so. Uh, I, I, the thing that's continued to surprise me while I've been here is uh, how varied the job is. Obviously, it's all mainly focused on, on, on railway or occasionally with roads, if you're on that side of things. But the policy, it's the monitoring, it's the compliance, you get to think about the legal aspect, you get to think about the economics of it. Um, it's really fascinating. So if someone was thinking about a job working in policy or regulation, I think what you need to be really good at is asking questions. So um, spotting issues, um, interrogating those, trying to get to the bottom of problems, understand what's going on, and then think about solutions. And a really core part of doing that well in a policy environment is doing that collaboratively with other people. 
What makes working at ORR so fulfilling is the critical role which we all play in supporting our major road and rail networks. We have a critical stake in supporting industries which we regulate and work closely with government and stakeholders to ensure they function at their best. I really enjoy my role at ORR and I think my favourite thing is knowing that what we're doing has a real purpose and that we're making a difference and that really helps with coming to work every day. I've stayed here for 13 years because I find it a really well-led and really supportive environment and it's full of nice people who are good at their job.